Hello everyone, it's GigaBeef here, and today we're going to answer a question that I get asked a lot, which is what is the best thing to do with your Bitcoins? Whether you have the Bitcoin farm constantly churning these out or just finding them occasionally in rare spawns, given the lackluster price lately, it does seem a shame just to offload them to Therapist right now for 118k. Just before we get started, this video is sponsored by, just kidding, nobody. But I do want to remind you of Scav Talk, our weekly Tarkov podcast run by myself and fellow Tarkover Church. If you like my content and have some spare time commuting, doing the washing up or any number of other thrilling activities, please do consider giving us a listen. We post a two hour cast every Monday discussing everything Tarkov from events and updates to metas, progression and technical features. You can find us over at either youtube.com forward slash scavtalk or at anchor.fm forward slash scavtalk if you prefer a more traditional podcast experience. In the past, Bitcoin used to have a ton of different barters, but due to the linking between Tarkov's Bitcoin and that of the real world, when it was at the highs of April 2021, prices ended up at roughly 850k in game and you could make three a day in the farm. As you can imagine, this caused some problems to the Tarkov economy. There were a bunch of changes back then, but one of the issues today is that there are very few barters left. Many were changed away from Bitcoin to GP coin instead because they simply made no sense at the time, but once the in-game price ratio was changed from much lower value to about 300k, and then subsequently the real life price fell afterwards too, this made the prices for Bitcoin in-game hit their all-time lows. This at one point was even under 100k, but without the barters to make them useful again. After all of this, there are only two barters that survived the cull. 10 Bitcoins for weapons case and 20 Bitcoins plus 20 GP coins for a thick weapons case. With the current values at Therapist, that puts the regular weapons case at 1.2 million, and with GP coins at 30k, which is on the cheaper side but is possible, this brings the thick weapons case to 3 million. Now there are plenty of people who have ended up going to do these barters simply because there was nothing else to get with Bitcoin, but we need to check what other alternatives there are to get these cases. For the regular weapons case, you can in fact buy them on the flea market still, but given they range anywhere from 6 to 10 million, this is clearly much more expensive than the Bitcoin barter. However, there are three other barters that we can consider to get this one. Moonshine and vodka is too much with Skier, as the moonshine on its own is around 2.5 million for 10. The pistol case barter is maybe interesting if you're using expeditionary tanks for fuel anyway, as you just have to keep an eye out for cheap pistol cases on the flea, or alternatively use its own barter when the piles of meds and syringes are trading cheaply. But the one that most players use is the Mechanic 3 barter, which is easier to do than the pistol case one as you don't need to be saving empty fuel cans and most of the time it's cheaper too, even assuming you're using all of the fuel. This involves 8 motors, 15 wires, 4 broken LCDs and 1 phased array element. This typically comes to about 700k, but it can be even cheaper if you snipe some good component prices. So unless you're at Mechanic 2 and desperately want a weapons case, your best bet is to sell the bitcoins to Therapist and buy the barter instead, which should leave you with around an extra 500k. With the normal weapons case out then, what about the thick case? As we said before, it costs about 3 million to do the bitcoin barter, assuming that you can get GP coins at 30k. As it turns out, there is another barter for the thick case, which in fact involves a regular weapons case, two of these plus four ammo cases and 10 metal spare parts. We just worked out the price of a regular weapons case is about 700k, so that starts us off at 1.4 million. Ammo cases can be bought from the fleet for 180k or from mechanic, but is often cheaper with the barter at 160k for two thermites and two green powders. Metal spare parts can be gotten down to around 8.5k depending on the time, which altogether comes to 2.1 million rubles. Now obviously the prices on the market fluctuate, but based on this there is enough buffer to be fairly comfortable selling your bitcoins to therapist and doing these case barters where you need them at the time. It is sort of unfortunate that the correct decision here is the most boring one because I was kind of hoping there'd be something cool, but the only real reason that I can see to hoard bitcoins is if you think the price is going to go up in the short term and you can sell them to therapist for more than where it's at currently. If you do decide to hang on to them and the price goes down for whatever reason, there is a floor value with the original barter of 10 bitcoins for a regular weapons case, as under 70k per coin, this becomes better value than the motors version. Unfortunately, the trader that pays the most for these, Therapist, will only give you 551k for a basic weapons case, for which it implies an even lower value of 55,000 per coin if you wanted to actually get money out of the system, so to speak, as opposed to just looking for the most optimal way to buy it. So next up, go and check out my video on the G28, which is the lightest semi-auto suppressed rifle for 7.62 NATO. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons. Hit all the buttons if you enjoyed this video, and as always, have fun in your raids.